Hello. Today I'm working on an Acer Aspire Z3-600 or Z3-600 for the Americans. Um, this computer is very slow. It's quite an old all-in-one computer. Well, not that old. Um, it's an all-in-one computer. has a one terabyte drive, four gigs of RAM. It's running Windows 10 and it's very slow. Uh, watching Task Manager, the hard drive is in use 100% of the time. It's kind of the same old story. So I'm going to pop the, the hard drive out and clone it onto a new SSD and see if that fixes the performance problem. So I'm just going to take, there are three screws in the bottom here. Can't really see very well, but there's a screw there, there's a screw there, and there's a screw there. So I'll take these out. Now, the bottom, this computer has kind of two main regions. There's the display, the LCD panel, and then this box that's sort of attached to that. If you can see, it's really hard to get a grip underneath this thing. Uh, so you can see all of the computer is in this region here. So now that I've got those screws taken out, I need to figure out how the rest of this opens up. And I'm not sure if it slides. I can see it moving a tiny bit when I do that, but I think maybe maybe it just clips from the top. I'm going to turn it around so that I can see what I'm doing here. Oops, I've just turned it on. Oh yeah. So this tool fits under here nicely. So you can see that's moving when I get my tool under there, which tells me there are going to be some clips somewhere. Just going to see if I can get any of these to release. But not trying too hard because I don't want to break anything. I'm going to pop the customer's USB dongle out. There's a battery in this. Wow. So this is a portable computer. Because there's no power. I don't have it plugged into the power, but pressing the power button turns it on. So I need to be especially careful. Ah, there we go. So I've got into the slot and then pushed down to lever up. And that has started. I've got one clip released. So I'm going to hold my place with that. There we go. Yeah, that's going. I keep pressing the power button. Yeah, that's working. I don't like the way that feels. You just look at these clips. Yeah. They're just robust. Oh. Robust clips. Now they're going in quite easily now. Yeah. I'm going to pull this lever up so I can get around it. Okay, that side's done. So it feels like something is still holding it in the middle. Don't think it slides because there are bits of the case they go down inwards so it wouldn't make sense that it slides out so it's probably just more clips yep okay oh these rubber things I think are holding in the bottom so it hinges open I need to close that so I can go past it okay so we got that open without any of those clips breaking. It's good. So I think I can see a hard drive here. The battery. Just a regular old laptop battery. Wow. It's 
speakers. Hmm. Wow. It's quite an interesting design here. I'm going to ground myself. I have to remember that there's a battery still attached. Cover here. So that's the battery. That's literally a laptop battery. Wow. That's amazing. Might be some additional screws. Let's have a little closer look. Yeah, there's one more there. Should have known. So this is the hard drive. Wow. That's brilliant. I'm thoroughly impressed by everything I see here so far. Okay, let's clone this hard drive. Now, this is a one terabyte hard drive, but it's barely being used. So I'm going to clone this onto 250 crucial SSD. Okay, so we'll go into Partition Wizard and I'll find the customer's disk, which is disk six, my Sabrent caddy. I've got two of those Sabrent caddies. One has the customer's one terabyte drive, which is 4% used. I'm just gonna explore to be sure. So I will copy that to disk seven, which is the empty 250 and the this software has a bug. It never leaves enough room for the last partition, so I need to reduce the size of this one by 500 megabytes. I want to change the last partition. Yes. So now we've left a little uh, 533 megabyte partition at the end that I can copy this into, put it at the end of the disk, and then I'll resize this so that it takes up the remaining space. Okay, that looks all right to me. Let's apply this and I'll be back when it's done copying. Okay, fingers crossed that this works. I'm gonna ground myself again. And this SATA interface is that way. And so it looks like this goes in that way. So my drive is going to go in here. Yes. And with four screws. I'm only going to start these because the drive doesn't line up perfectly when it lays flat in there. The screws aren't reachable. Wow, it's bright in here. Okay, we'll try that. Okay. Okay. I think I'm going to turn this on without putting the back on. It's amazing that holds it up. Oh, no, let's put the battery in and that cover. Right, so the SSD cloning went well. Uh, the computer runs fine. And I'm just going to pop this cover back on. Those clips are something else. I'm going to clean this up as well after I put the screws back in. Oh, the customer's USB keyboard adapter. <clears throat> mm, there we go. It's 
Let me get these started because it seems a little finicky. And now on the last one, I will screw them up. <laughs> I keep turning it on by mistake. Actually, with a little alcohol. Yeah. Hmm. Lovely. There's a little bit on the edge here that I'd like to get. And then I'm going to check the top. Oh, some gunk on the top edge here. A little bit of glass cleaner is all it takes. That's the back. Let's see if we can clean up the front a little more. I'm gonna start with a new a new rag. I wanna be careful, there's some notes on here that I wouldn't like to erase. I'm just gonna go near them. This is quite a unique PC. The customer uses it as a portable PC, I think for demonstrations or, you know, kind of like a really big laptop. Because of the, the laptop battery inside, you can, you know, you don't need a power source. You can just set it up, turn it on, give a presentation, pick it up and go home. Tempted to go after that sticker that's only half removed on the top. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> only because this customer seemed so nice. Let's see if I can do anything to make this a little better. I'm just gonna kind of soak this with the glass cleaner. Yeah, it's gonna. Ruin my brand new rag towel, but that's okay. <laughs> Look at that. So that paper is coming up. Yeah, it'll probably come up just as easy with my fingernail. There we go. But she hasn't removed this sticker, so I'm going to leave it on there because I don't want to presume that it should come off. So I'll just turn this inside out and then redo my overall clean. Okay, look at that. It's beautiful. Hopefully, this customer is going to be very pleased with that. All right, so we've replaced the hard drive with a 250 gig SSD, and the computer is clean and ready to go. So that's it. Thank you for watching.